Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today we have the rest of my unbagging from GBFKE. Um, if you remember before Christmas I said that I'd got a, a lovely order, a nice little package and uh, I took out the Squid Games keychains to show you and uh, that's the <laughs> scary doll um, and then these are the little guards the double sided little keychains um, and I got those completed as Christmas presents and um, these are hubby's set and uh, yeah so they were all done and they were out of this package so I'll show you the rest of it we'll have a look at what else we've got right. the other things that I did get in this package that I've sort of like fished out of the bottom are some um, metal tips some well i don't know whether they're steel or whatever some tips uh for pens for your diamond painting pens and um, this one is a straightener a metal straightener there oh sorry a bit of glare there and i think that's probably about a 10 places straightener and then these are single places and i thought why not i'll just get them in oh gosh it really is glaring and um, i'll get them in the different colors so i've got a rose gold a gold and like a steely silvery colour. Let's just tip these out and show you them. Um, and I'm going to get these put in my pens. These are the ones that are slightly bent at the end uh, so you can do them from a side and I thought I would have a go at doing that. Come on get out that'll be easier look I don't want to be blinding you. And I'll get my little measure out and we'll have a look at the straightener. I thought the straightener is definitely one I'd use. I've not got uh, the multi-placers yet. Um, I have got a couple of multi-placer ones already. And I may get a full set. I don't know. I'm still uh, on the fence about multi-placing. I keep sort of doing it a little bit and then thinking I don't really like what it's doing. So, Okay, that's better. Look, got a little bit of reflection and glare. But yeah, so they're, they're bent at the ends. So that as you're doing your uh, diamond painting, you're holding it sort of on an angle rather than having to be straight up and down. Because as, as I say, um, I do sort of sit with things on my knee and I just think it may help me um, doing it that way rather than using my pickup pen. I'm trying to move away from my pickup pen so I can start using some of the fantastic pens that I actually own um and doing things that way so let's just have a look at that straightener and see how big it is oh it's bigger than a 10 so that's gonna be that's your 10 drills there look so i reckon that's gonna be probably about a 13 so it's a straightener that will straighten 13 it's nice and thin focusing in yeah nice and thin there so you can get it in between your drills without moving them too much but it's not sharp at all but these are quite a nice weight quite uh, nicely finished off and as uh, I do I am a bit of a magpie for sparkly stuff and I do think that uh, I love rose gold rose gold is one of my favorites or I suppose it could be copper but I'm causing it calling it rose gold yeah it has got the little bands on the grooves there already they're already put on look so I don't have to lose them and mess about with them <laughs> my order um that I've printed out is shown in euros um, so I'm not quite sure of the exact price, but they're each showing at 0.49 euros each. Uh, if I can, I'll do a conversion. I would think that's going to be about 50 pence each, roughly. Let's say 50 pence. Um, so yeah, I think they're pretty good and they have got a whole range of them. So you can choose which ones you want. I know sometimes it's cheaper to like buy um, a full set. You know, you can buy the full sets now, but I just wanted to pick out which ones I wanted. So, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at what else is in the package. That's quite a, a bigger shot. What I tend to do, oops, just get that big out of the way. What I tend to do with um, orders like this is because you do pay for postage. Um, I think, oh, again, it's showing in euros. It was 6 uh, 99 euros. Um... I think it's usually around about six pounds. I always try to order around about six-ish items. Um, so it's usually more. <laughs> but I always think if I order six items, then I've, I'm paying a pound postage. So that's a pound postage on each item. And I think, well, when I look at it, would I pay a pound postage to get this delivered to me? And the answer is probably yes. So if I order six things and it's six pounds, um, I hope you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> but 
but that's how my mind works. <laughs> okay, I've got two paintings, so we'll have a look at those in a second. And I've got two boxes. Uh, what did I get in this? I mean, if I count the um, if I count the pen tips as like one, so that would be a pound to get those delivered, which is reasonable. I think uh, first class post in the UK here now is round about a pound. So um, I ordered two lots of the Squid Games keychains. So yeah, pound delivery for those, and then these a pound each. Yeah, so that's how I work my postage out. I know a lot of places don't charge postage, and you can get them through postage, but that's just how I work. <laughs> okay, which one shall we look at? Let's look at the big one first, because I can see what that one is. And if you can spot it on the box, it's not a wreath. It is a bee. I've got a bee. So it's a hanging bee. Okay. Uh, wall hanging diamond painting with lamp. So this is a light up one, similar to my little Christmassy ones I got. Okay, it's come nice condition. I've got a little bit of a dent in the box there, but nothing to speak of. So considering how far it's come, I'm just in a grey plastic bag. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, we've got some stickies there. That's to stick it on the wall if you're wanting to stick it on the wall. We've got uh, your standard battery pack, which I have to admit, I was quite impressed with these um, on the two wreaths that I did over Christmas. I will try and do a video of all my Christmas things that I did, just a quick wrap up video uh, and show you these. But yeah, I was quite impressed with those. And oh, we've got a standard toolkit, which is your pink pen, your little green bow, a few little baggies there, it's probably about five, I think. A little square of wax, so yeah, you've got enough to do your project there. Um, just very basic, nothing to write home about, shall we say. And then we have, whoops, and oh, something else. I'm going to say, I hope there's some drills in here. So that's the empty box. We've got a nice chain, and it looks like it must be the same manufacturer as the Christmas wreaths that light up that I got because that is exactly the same chain there and it's got your lovely lobster claw clasps on it not easy to say good job it's not New Year's Eve yeah really nice quality good spring on those there so that's those to, that's to hang him up with and the other packet of drills looks like oh we've got some very sparkly drills in there okay and then we have the bee oh my goodness look at that that is absolutely gorgeous look oh i love it i love bees it's a big bumblebee you can practically see its fur on it look and give it a good stroke it's got his little legs and we've got all the flowers look it's all in amongst the flowers and even the antennae there. Yeah, I think actually this is the big version of the little one that I've got. I've just got him hung up on my notice board here. Let's have a look. So this is the like crystal one that I got um, last year. I can say last year now. Gosh, January 2022 already. Yep, yeah, that's the little teeny tiny one that has the hanging crystal at the bottom there. And this is big mummy that be wow looks like it's to be honest exactly the same design because it's got the flowers more or less in the same places um just a lot lot bigger and i don't like my bees i'm back on a bee theme again bees owl scotty dogs <laughs> i do try and get different things honest Right, so looks like we've got uh, little guide circles on these. Now, I found while I was doing um, my reads, particularly on ones that are single-sided, there's a couple of them that were a little bit thicker acrylic. This isn't um, too thick, so it's quite a nice lightweight one if you're wanting to hang it up. If you get too much weight, I find that they don't stick on my walls. <laughs> um, yeah, so these... The guide circles, you need to be flat on a surface probably and actually drilling, putting your gems on, putting your drills on from above. Because if you start doing them from a side, 
what I found was I was sat doing them on my knee and because I'm on a slight side view even though I thought I was putting the drills on from above when I actually then strained it up and looked at it they were all like slanted and I had to start moving them all around you will drive yourself crazy <laughs> trying to get them directly on so yeah it's better if you actually do them from above but that's just my experience of them if you've got a better way of doing it or let me know in the comments down below so yeah we've got a lot of in fact actually that is full drill isn't it yeah other than like the flowers where there's just a few little gaps all this is it's gonna have gems all over it so let's give him a quick measure him or her i'm not quite sure which okay so we'll go from tip of wing that way to tip of wing that way oh is 26 centimeters which is 11 inches so it's a very good size very nice and we'll go from tip of antennae there uh, down to a little bottom and that one is 18 centimeters which is seven inches so it's a lovely size do like this quite looking forward to get this getting this done uh, there is a smash in the specials event for february so i think i've got enough to sink a battleship <laughs> already for that event but i do like my specials albeit um yesterday i spent the whole day sorting out all my leftover drills and gems and special drills and a b drills and trying to put them all into colour order and everything. And oh my goodness, I have got so many. So I will be donating um, some of those. But heck, yeah, that's the one bit that I don't like. I don't mind cutting down when I've got like DMC numbers and I can put all my drills into matching things. But when you've got all these special drills and you're having to go through your little bags and match them all up. Oh, heck. And I do like to be organised. So let's see what gems we've got in here. Okay. I must admit, I may stop saving some of my round ones. <laughs> it pains me to say. Oh, ooh, look at those. So the special drills. Special shapes. So that's a large faceted. I think, is that black? Yeah, it's... Or is it blue? It may be blue on that side. But I think it's like a very dark blue, black, um, AB coated drill. AB is the coating on it. It's like oil on water, northern lights effect. Um, it just gives it that different glow um, when you put it on different sparkle. You get purple, green, blue, depending on which way you look at it. So number seven is that. Yep, so that's going to be number seven all across here and the centres of the flowers, so that's just going to contrast. I'm presuming we've got black for the bee, but we'll wait and see when we look at the drills. And then, oh, these are like my owl claws, as I call them. They're like little orangey coated, AB coated teardrops. And whereabouts are they? Oh, they're with the flowers then. They're number eight. So these are all these gorgeous flowers around here. Okay. And then these are our standard drills, so let's have a look. Oh yeah, so we've got our black, which is number one, which is most of the bee, um, all around here and around here that you can see. And it's the silver coated black there. Okay, and then we've got a pale, very pale champagne type gold there. A lovely pop of a nice emeraldy green. A little bit darker gold, so you'll get some shading on the wings and on the bee. We've got a, like a brownie, bronzy colour there. And then another goldy colour, a lot darker gold. That's a nice sort of honey type gold there as well. Honey gold for a bee, yay! So that's that one. And I'm quite impressed with that. I do like my bee. So let me just get this one put away and then we'll have a look at the next one. Right, I'm back on to the next. Sorry, I had to just uh, nip away and uh, help Hubby with something. Yay, Hubby is still home, so fingers crossed for 2022. We don't go visiting that big building anymore. Well, we've got a few outpatient appointments to go to, but anyway, let's have a look and see what this one is. It's another hanging pendant, I think. <laughs> 
and have a look. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, heck. Oh, this one's going to take a bit of doing. Right. Okay. So this one is a building project. So same basic toolkit there. Okay. I'm not going to linger on that. Goodness me. Oh, oh, all in bags. <laughs> look at all these bits. Okay, so this is actually a little Ferris wheel and or a big wheel as we call them and it's going to have to all be put together. Does it spin? It looks like it's going to spin as well. So we've got nice uh, written instructions but also picture instructions. This is what we like and when I saw this one I think I actually added this to my, like my basket, my wish list. Uh, when our Hull Fair was on last year, if you've seen my previous videos um, in Hull, which is the city next to us, uh, we have the largest, or it always was, I don't know whether it still is, the largest travelling fair in Europe and it's been going on for hundreds of years and I just thought this would be a lovely little sort of reminder of that. So, it's, uh, okay, oh, what's that? got an extra not quite sure what that is it looks a bit icky i hope it's just sticky stuff just stuck in it Blech. uh yeah so we've got two like the stanchions that uh, it's going to go on so we've got two pieces there and then we've got the two wheels that are all diamond painted so those two are diamond painted these two are diamond painted so it looks as though they are going to stand sort of in the middle like that and then the wheel is going to go there and it does look like it could possibly go around yeah these have got holes in so that's uh, I don't know if you can see there's a hole just sort of there in the middle it goes right through so well, I guess that's what holes normally do, Liz. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I like the colours. Okay, and then we've got all these bits and a screwdriver. Is it ever a good look when you get a screwdriver? Oh, heck. Let me just get a little container to put all these in. Okay, so we'll put all these into here so we can uh, see them and not lose any. No, what am I? True Spilly Liz star. Quite a nice little screwdriver that, it's a Phillips screwdriver with the little four pronged head there. So, oh right, oh I said, oh my goodness me, these are all the little carriages <laughs> to go on the big wheel and you have to diamond paint them all. Oh heck, okay, oh wow, and then these are all the little bits to fix them with, I'm not going to open that. And then there's some bigger ones to fix it with there. Okay, so two different lengths of those. But oh, are these all double sided as well? Oh my goodness me. So that's that one. Or are they? Let's see. Let's see what different ones we've got. We've got that one. And all ah, right. Okay. Oh, well, they're not, not too bad. I think they're all stuck together no I don't think they're all stuck together I was going to say I think they're all different but they're not so what other ones have we got got another green one there so it looks like we've just got the two different ones which are the little blue roof with the red bottom and the little like blue and red bottom with the green and red striped umbrella okay Right, this is going to be fun to do, so let's get it all diamond painted and sealed first, I think. And then we've got, what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six of the little, like, washers, plastic washers, all from acrylic. So does that mean that we've got, how many are we hanging? No, there's one on every one. So what have we got? Start there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So maybe you do only put one on. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, maybe there is one on everyone then. Wow. Okay. Right, it's a pirate ship. Looks like a rock. Oh, no. So this one's a rocket, but this one is a star on it. I must have. I wonder if they had different ones. Possibly they had different ones. And this is the one I've ordered, and this is how they go together. But those instructions look pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so this will be fun. Yeah, this one has a rocket ship in the middle, look, whereas the one I've got has a star. Right. So, okay, that was a bit more complicated than I expected, but that's okay. Um, I will keep all the bits in here, I think. I may as well, now that I've got them here. And, I mean, at least you get your little screwdriver with it. So, and then I will get this diamond painted. And then these little fellas are going to hang from here. So you're going to have... Yeah, I see. Yeah, you can do either one and these are red blue red uh, red blue red blue <laughs> okay so you can decide which one you want to put it on and do them alternate ones all the way around so this will be a challenge this will be a fun one to do but they're all in little grip seal bags so we've got oh definitely a fairground color that one that's your ready color and we have a lovely purpley color all big letters, as all big numbers as well, so that I can see them. A lovely red. And your aqua blue there. And a little bit deeper. Oh, that's a lovely blue. I like that one. And then your silver. So there's not many colours. So it's, it's going to be very jazzy, but not too many colours, which is excellent. Oh, looking forward to doing this one. This is something a bit different. I've not had a building project one before. Uh, I may try and get Hubby to help me with it. Um, he's not wholly interested in a lot of things at the moment because he's, he's still recovering from his little hospital stay. But uh, yeah, that would be quite fun to sit and have a giggle and put that together. I don't think I'll be doing this on camera because it may take a while. So yeah, that's my fairground. I'm going to leave that in there for now. Okay, and that's me uh, instructions. I'm impressed with the instructions. I do like the fact that you've got the pictures. You've got your little key code there telling you what you've got. You've got your pictures telling you how to put it together. And then it is written in English underneath as well. So, yeah, all nice colour pictures. That always helps. So that's my little uh, fairground ride. Right, let's have a look at these diamond paintings then. Okay, where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? Oh, right, the pra oh, didn't measure that one either. So let's just quickly measure this little uh, Ferris wheel, this little big wheel, whatever you call them. And from the prong on one side to the prong on the other, it's 20 centimetres, which is eight inches. So quite a nice size there. And the little stanchions, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's just a bit of plastic that's got stuck. Well, I hope it's just a bit of plastic that's got stuck. Uh, that one is, what, six and a half, uh, 16 and a half centimetres, which is about six and a half inches. So, yeah, really looking forward to that one. All the fun of the fair. Okay, so let's get on to these diamond paintings. Um, the price of the... Ferris wheel and the B, they were 15 euros 49 each. <laughs> so I have no idea why it's printed out in euros. It's probably me. I've probably pressed the wrong button. Probably decided I was in a different country while I was doing my order. Uh, okay, let's have a look at these diamond paintings. Painting number one. This one seems quite fat. Okay. See, let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> I told you I was on a B theme. <laughs> let's just uh, fold it back a little bit. And this 
is Stay Wild Moon Child. But to be honest, I ordered it for the bee. Again, it's the same bee picture. So we've definitely got a theme going on here. Let me just uh, have a quick fight with my plastic, see if I can get it to lay a little bit flatter. It's a very, very stiff canvas, this one. So because it's been bent, it's wanting to go back to its rolled up stage again. Every time I look at it, that's made it a little bit flatter. See if we can get this side a little bit flatter. I'll try not to take too much off because you know what I'm like with these things. I don't struggle. If there's a right and a wrong way to do it, come to Lizzie's channel and find out the wrong way to do it. <laughs> Ooh, something's on the move over there in the corner of my room. As long as it doesn't come this way, we'll be fine. Okay, let's try and pop that there. So yeah, uh, I'm quite liking that. There's an awful lot of uh, multi-placing that can be done on this. This looks like there is a lot of ends all over around here. So it's going to be quite dark. Uh, you can just about make out the legs on the bee there. But uh, certainly the writing stands out. Um, and it looks like it's more or less all the same colour. So we should be okay with that writing. And then we've got the phases of the moon going across the top. So, yeah, I say it was the bee that caught my eye on this one. If it had just had the bee on without anything else, I would have probably just bought it anyway. Uh, it's 22 colours. And it looks like a nice clear key code there. We do have DMC codes if you do keep your drills. Um, all down the side there. And we've got a bee We've got an S, but there's no numbers, so that's good. We do have an R, but there's no P, so I can't see anything on there that's particularly going to catch me out. The V and the U are very different colours. So, yeah, quite a nice one. It says it's 30 by 40. I'll do a quick measure of the drill field, but it will probably be about 24-ish. Uh, yeah, 24 centimetres that way by uh, 34 centimetres that way so yeah we're losing uh, three centimetres on each side for the edges but that's fine and as I say most companies these days do seem to um, on the websites now put the size of the canvas and then put the size of the drilling area as well so you see what you're getting uh, to be fair it's never really made a big difference to me um, you know as long as I can get it in a frame and if you get the slightly smaller ones, then these fit quite nicely with them. Um, you know, you can put some card backing or whatever on the outside. So, yeah, I like that one. Uh, standard toolkit again. No baggies in this one. So we're not uh, putting any drills in bags on that one. And oh, drill, no DMC codes on the drills, but let's say they are on the canvas. Let's get these out and have a look. Did you see that? I found the edge of this bag straight away then. Oh, is that going to be my New Year's resolution? Do you think we might be able to find them a bit quicker? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh, look at that. All right. So we have four bags of number 17, which is... 3750. So that is the N, that is the background. So that is three, sorry, four rather large bags. Is that very navy blue, denim blue? Nice colour though, do like that one. Yeah. And then we've got your palish lemony colour and another dark blue and some browns and another blue and like a winey colour there. It's maroon really but I like to call it wine. Think of Christmas and New Year and then some yellows and oranges and a bit of a fawny colour. Oh, look at that, that's a nice pop of bright orange that's going to go in there. It's like a reddy orange and like a, a very yellowy pink, pink, yellowy creamy colour. Nice sage green colour there with a rust colour, a deep grey. Uh, a tinned pea green, 
and is that 310 black looks like it yeah number one is 310 black so not too many blacks there quite a small bag but we have a lot of those blues the background will be a challenge but it is only a 30 by 40 so and then just the last few colours, some peaches, some browns and some fawns. So that is a lovely picture. I like that one. Okay, let's just put the drills into one of my little bags. Put in there and I'll get those labelled up when I finish the video. And we'll have a look at the next one. And this one feels quite a thin one. So oh, the price of that one was four euros and forty-nine. I think possibly for forty-nine euros is three ninety-nine UK, three pounds ninety-nine pence. I think. I think that's what category they came under. So let's just have a quick look at this one. It's quite a flat one. And this one was the same price, so yeah, I'm sure they were three pounds and ninety nine. Okay, but obviously they're just the prices at the time as I did the order. Oh yes, oh look at that little face! I absolutely adore this canvas. That is gorgeous. That just looks. I think you've probably heard me mention before. Um, I used to have a little West Highland White Terrier, a little Westie called Harvey. And that just looks like Harvey. That little expression, that little face with the gorgeous eyes, a little nose. Oh, yeah. So that's why I ordered this one. I think it was uh, Admos S. Rebecca that had this one on her channel. I saw an unboxing and I thought, right. And I went searching because I'm going to have to have that one. So this is my little Westie. Oh. And it's one of those like full drill but special drill paintings. So they're like fully covered, everything is fully covered. Um, looks like apart from the eyes and the nose. So you would class it as like, well it's a special drill because they're all special um, gems and things that are on it. But you're practically covering the whole canvas because you do have all the uh, space does more or less have a gem in it. So yeah, we've got all different uh, gem sizes in the background and then just like a normal special drill painting on the little Westy dog. Oh, but that is gorgeous. Uh, Harvey wouldn't have had that posh collar on there. He would have, particularly with hearts on, he was a definite boy dog. He would definitely have rolled and got that off. He wouldn't have, he would let you dress him up. Uh, the kids used to really play about with him. Um, and he ended up with tinsel and all sorts on him when we were decorating Christmas trees and things. And he just used to sit there and think, yeah, whatever. And then when you'd finished, he'd just go and roll until he got it all off. So I can't imagine him wearing that, but uh, that's very sparkly. Very nice. Oh, it's very sort of Christmassy, actually, that. Looks a bit like snow in the background, doesn't it? But uh, as soon as I saw that little face, I thought, right, I'm going to have to have that one. And that one will definitely be going on my wall, so... Uh, another basic toolkit with no baggies, okay, and no multi places in those either. Right, can you see that? I found the end again straight away. <laughs> Let's just have a look at these special drills. Oh, it looks like the background's all going to be pink. Oh, it, it can't, well, it can be happy. <laughs> I think it's a little girl dog, this one then, with all the pink. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be all pink, this background. Very sparkly. Ooh, 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 oh, okay. So we'll start at this end, which is just your standard silver gems there. And then we've got like a pinky reddy colour. And then we've got like a peachy gold colour. And then look at that one. That's like an AB coated silver one. Look at the sparkle on that. Oh, the camera is picking that up. It's got like blue and green and everything in it. So that's a silver one with a coating on. Oh, love that. Some of the Christmas ones I've got to have those in. Gorgeous. And then we've got back to like a goldy colour and a more muted gold there. And then, oh, we've got some quad cubes. So his little collar here, look, or her little collar, whichever. 
has some squares and I thought they were going to be made up maybe with gems but actually they're quad cubes in this hot pink quad cubes it's the first quad cubes I've had so basically what quad cube means is it's like the equivalent of four square gems stuck together so but yeah look at the sparkle and then some little blue hearts oh so yeah he's gonna have little blue hearts on him and then the background is made up of three different round faceted pink gems and we've got two bags of that one is that the same color yeah so there's going to be a lot of those on it wow oh that is gorgeous love that absolutely love that oh look at that little face don't you just want to pick him up and give him a hug oh maybe just me <laughs> okay so a little westy and then our B and our roundabout and then we have our other B. So there you are. That was quite a nice little haul. Uh, so from GBFKE and my pen tips there as well in the different colours. And then of course we had the Squid Games key rings. Right. Oh, well, I think that's uh, everything up. That's a great haul. I love this. Wow, I'm going to have some fun doing all these. I can't believe it's taken me this long to open them. But then Christmas has been in the way. OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing all these. If you have, if you can give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see me complete some of these and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by and hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.